Hey guys, I'm still permutating, permutating and combinating. Um, in this case, we this should keep you from gambling. In a lottery, I've got three numbers that um, I need to pick in order to win pick three. And the numbers in the drum are 1 through 50. And the first thing I want to know is how many possible permutations are there? Well, remember that in a permutation, um, I care about how many ways can I arrange R, required number of objects, from a single group of N. So it doesn't matter what order I draw them in, um, makes no difference. The question is simply how many different permutations can I come up with if it doesn't make really any difference which way I select them. So grab my formula. Okay, so I got my permutation formula and my permutation formula is basically again remember n is the number I have. Well I have the numbers 1 through 50 so I have 50 numbers up here and I've got to pick or required I need three so what I know is I've got to pick I've got 50 numbers from which to choose and I'm required to pick three of them so I'm simply going to do some basic math that says 50 carry that over for my um, permutation and then down here 50 minus 3 is 47. You can probably tell that this one is going to be a big number because what's going to happen is I'm going to go 50. Now this I'm not going all the way down. I'm going to shortcut this bad boy times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46. Yes I would have to go all the way down to times 1 but <clears throat> What's going to happen down here is, remember 47, 46, 45, da 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 da, da all the way down to times 1. So I can I already know, thank God, that from 46 to 1, actually from 47 to 1, is going to cancel out my bottom from 47 to 1. So what I actually end up with is just these three right here that I have to deal with. Everything else is going to cancel itself out. And I'm so happy for that because um, I don't even think I have enough paper to do that. So I'm simply going to take 50 times 49 times 48. And yes, throw away those winning lottery tickets people because what ends up happening is just having to select three numbers out of 50 gives me a hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred permutations of three numbers one through fifty let's take a look at what happens though when we have the combination um, or look at how many possible combinations there are. Okay, remember that when I look at my combinations, I'm going to look at a little bit different formula. The top is still going to be n, the number that I have, but in the bottom, I'm now going to add this. I'm going to add my n factorial to the beginning. Whoops! had a small technical difficulty there. Um, I'm actually going to add the R factorial at the beginning of the formula. Let's see, I've done so many of these, I'm dizzy. Um, so I'm simply going to carry all of my numbers over. N is still the 50 that we had, and R is still the number that's required, which is drawing three numbers up here, remember? The only difference is, is that now in this formula, I'm going to add that three factorial in the beginning. So what you already know is because my denominator is going to get bigger, there are always going to be fewer combinations than there are permutations. So let's see what happens when we substitute into the formula. Again, I'm going to do my 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 dot 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 all the way down to times 1. 
And down here now, I've got to go 3 times 2 times 1, which is the beginning of this formula right here. That's that 3 factorial. But now I've got to do this part as well. So when I do that part, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to keep going to go times my 47 times 46 times 45 dot 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 times 1. Okay. And now, again, just like in the last one, I know that all of these are going to cancel out, and all of these are going to cancel out. But now what happens is I end up with this same 50 times 49 times 48, which is amazingly the same number as this, except now I'm going to get to divide it by something. I'm going to take 50 times 49, um, yeah, 50 times 49 times 48, and I'm going to divide it by 6, which is simply 3 times 2 times 1. And because I've got a bigger denominator, I'm going to drop all the way down to 19,600 possible combinations. So what does this teach you? It teaches you two things. One is that when you have a combination, it's always going to be a smaller number because you're going to add this R into the denominator. And secondly, if you're going to play the um, Virginia Pick 3, always play it that it's in any order because if you don't, then you're going to go from having a possible 19,600 winning combinations all the way up to 117,600 winning combinations. Um, I think this concludes um, these two subjects, so let me know how things are going, and see you guys around Blackboard.